guys, thanks so much for clicking on my channel. We're all smiles over here. I am with Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help me keep a smile for the day? Hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm trying not to keep it long, but y'all already know. If it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The goal the nugget today is take the risk. But before I get to running my mouth, let's go and do what? Check out this manifestation chart, and then we're going to talk about it, okay? I pulled out one, and that one says what? Husband, all right, queen. The king is about to find you. Congratulations. Listen, take the risk. Take the risk. What do you have to lose? You don't have anything to lose. What do I mean by taking a risk? I'm telling you to trust God. And in order for you to trust God, you've got to take the risk. And taking the risk means the way. Take that leap of faith. God has already told you that it's going to work out for your good. Or maybe God has given you some promises. you got to move forward. And moving towards that promise. If God has called you to do, to do this, to be that, and to have certain things, then start preparing yourself to move towards that thing. That's taking the risk. And taking the risk means that you're not going to see behind the scenes. Just like with faith. You have no idea how it's going to come together, but you do know something good is coming out of it. That's how the risk is. You know something good is going to come out of it, but it's a risk because you don't know how it's going to get to the point to where the good is going to come out of it. You really don't know. And that's where God steps in. That's why you have to trust him wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. Take that risk. Take the leap of faith. And when you take the leap of faith, that means you're relying on your spiritual eyes, your spiritual ears, and the senses of God. Because guess what? You're not going to be able to see Jack with your physical eyes. You're not going to be able to hear Jack with your physical ears. And you're not going to be able to sense properly with the falsehood of feelings. You're not. So you'll be blind over there. You'll be blind, physical-wise. But having the leap of faith will keep you in the right direction moving forward. Why? Because you've taken that leap of faith to trust God. You've taken that leap of faith to trust God, which is taking the risk. And a lot of times, you won't take the risk. You won't take the leap of faith. You know why? Because you are a control freak. Mm. You are a control freak. You're a control freak. And I could call you that because I had to call myself that once upon a time way back when ago. I wanted to know who, what, when, where, and how it was going to come together. And I kept asking God those questions. Who, what, when, where, how? Who, what, when, where, how? God, who you going to use to bring it over here? Who you going to use to bring it to me? Who you going to use to get it to me? Who you going to, why, 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 when, when, how? I was asking all those questions. You know what God had to tell me? Well, Sanja, sit your tail down. Stay in your lane. I got this. And when I went and listened, because I went all the way along the connected, I was trying to do this and that to make it work. And God was constantly saying, it ain't going to work like that. That's a temporary fix. You're going to end back up where you started. Sit your tail down. The show will begin shortly. You don't need to see what's going on behind the scenes. Stop trying to make it and force it to work. I got it. I got it. Take the risk. Trust me. Take the leap of faith. And that's what God is telling you now. He knows what he has promised you. You just got to take that leap of faith. Take the risk. Trust God. He knows all the major factors in between that thing to getting you to the manifestation. You just got to trust him. Use your, what, spiritual eyes. Use your spiritual ears and your senses of God. And the only way you can be able to use that is to, what, be all the way aligned and connected, which means what? God is at the forefront of your life, moving in and through you that you're able to see within your journal with some clarity. And with that clarity, you'll know to sit your tail down, trust God, therefore taking the risk, all because you've taken the leap of faith. If you're an entrepreneur, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Entrepreneurs have to take risks all the time. You have to take a risk all the time. My husband, we always taking risks. I'll be like, babe, what, what you saying? Yeah, I'm supposed to do this. I'm like, God, did, huh? God, you told him to do that? God, God, is that what you told my husband? <laughs> is that what you told my husband to do? And God was like, yes. Now you jump on board. Take the leap of faith. Take the risk with your husband. I got y'all. And when I jump on board, when I finally jump on board, I see how God brings that thing together. You got to be like that. 
You got to be like that. You got to take that risk. Don't be scared to take the leap of faith. God got you. He won't fail you. Never will. He won't lie to you. If he's promised you something and he's put a gift in you, a place something inside of you for you to do, be, and have, you better believe that when you take the risk to walk out on faith, to take the leap of faith, to trust him in it, that he will perform that thing. You will manifest it. You will. You just got to trust him. But you first got to stop being a control freak, asking all these questions, wanting to know what's behind the scene and who's going to do it, who, where, when, how, or how and where, and all this stuff. You got to stop asking all those questions. That's a control freak. You're trying to make boss moves when you're not even the boss. Shucks, you're not even the assistant. No, you're not. You're not. Just let God handle it. He got it. He got you. Take the risk. Trust God. Take the leap of faith. And watch you will indeed manifest. I hope y'all got this thing. But if you didn't get it, what you better do? Rewind and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have the mask of smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.